all right guys welcome back to the channel once again in the last video we have seen like we configure this kind of selector manager and some component we added into our gps filter and also we added some headers so today we're gonna be adding the panel box over here uh, style manager and we're gonna play with the uh, css with the uh, of the builders today okay so uh, let's see and let's get started into this first open the gps documentation so we, we we have covered over here and now we're gonna be adding some more things into this like this uh, and this is a given over here like if you want to do some actions like uh, if you click on these icons and if you want to perform some other action as well on those commands so you can just copy this and you can play with that as well so let me copy it and let me open the code editor as well and if i click on this one So you can see before the command run after command run so it's uh, showing like it's running this one so whenever this command get uh, executed this console log come into your browser console normally these commands we use like if we have to run some other execution as well parallelly with that uh, like uh, when this pop-up gets come out and something like that so we can do it over here so that's kind of thing so let's move further and let's uh, add some other extra things so this is the layer manager this i have already added over here into our, our builder so this is the layer manager like whatever the component you add into your builder so you can see the dom tree like uh, how all the things are structured so you can see inside the body if you click on any element it will gonna be selected over here by default okay so you don't have to select it from here you can also select the children element like whatever how as much as children elements inside your dom you can monitor all the children over here let me tell you about the css part as well i have used a tailwind css into this like for customizing the uh, our style and all the things of builder so we can use the tailwind css so i have just copied this script and uh, i'm just using the classes of the tailwind css so you can see uh, some classes i have been used w full p4 flex justify between so these classes i'm using from the tailwind and uh, whatever the other customization we're gonna do we're gonna be doing with the tailwind css and let me give you this overview of tailwind css how we use it so there are two ways to use tailwind css one with uh, like doing npm install so you have to write uh, configuration for that okay and otherwise you can directly import the cdn into your html file and you can start using it so uh, let me show you by using play with cdn so you can just copy the cdn over here and you can start using the different cdn so whatever the classes you have to use so you can just find those classes over here okay and uh, into this like uh, all the classes are written over here so you can find the classes for each and every style property of the css and it's gonna become uh, automatically gonna be applied on your HTML element. So it has been uh, designed it like this. So we have already designed by our own way, and now we gonna be using this panel switcher. So layer and style. So let's see how we can do that. So we just need to copy this HTML element. So panel switcher. First, copy this panel switcher. Control C. And where it has been used, panel basic actions. So just underneath of this one, we're gonna use this, okay. And also there is a style container that we are going to use. So just copy this one. Panels. Okay, so this is the panels like panel for the panel. So whatever the element you are defining inside the panel, so you can just define it like this. So into the headers, so whatever things you want to define, so you can just define it over there. So just copy it and paste it over here like this and let's see what we are getting on the output so in the output let me reload the page okay so you can see i got the styles and layers over here okay so currently it's not working because uh, it's firing the command but that command is not getting executed so we let let's see some other things into that and also there is a style manager as well so just copy the style manager and then switcher we have been copied style manager as well copy the layer and just go okay and uh, copy this command as well whatever the commands have been defined over here so style so layer so just copy these And 
just paste at the fence over here okay so okay we are getting uh, some styles over here like whatever the styles should be coming so we are getting all those styles but UI is getting distorted so that we have to fix so that we are gonna fix by using the element CSS so let's see why it's behaving like this first alright guys so if you can see we have given the style manager so style manager with 50% so that's why it was breaking because we have added one parent element into this one so now we have to give id to this parent element styles uh, element okay so for this element we have to give the width okay. so it should be 20% okay and 15% so it should it should reduce to 65 okay you can see our style manager is loading and whatever the styles we have added into the, our config so those styles are loading so we can add some more extra styles like this into the config and later what we will do when we will integrate our static directories inside this script, uh, that django uh, django repository so then we will move all this configuration code into the G separate js file into the static and uh, only the html part gonna be running over here so that uh, we will do later like la at the end of the series so because uh, that gonna be only django part so we will configure those things so let's uh, configure a builder first so in grape js if you see the commands part so you can add your custom commands as well so that you can run it later so you can see first it has been added some commands over here and after that it it is it has written some code to execute after that okay so when you fire this command and after that if you make editor dot run or that command so it will automatically get executed so this command has been added and when this command gonna be fired from the external source or somewhere else so what it will do it will automatically run this code the whatever the code is written over here so when you will do editor dot run it gonna be running this code and editor dot stop so this code gonna be stopped at this point but you have to fire this command from there okay same thing for this one so style so whenever you are clicking on these two icons so if you see these two icons over here so it's see command so command has been added so layers and so styles if you see these buttons over here so styles and so layer so whenever you will click on this so that command is getting fired over here and that's how it working so you can customize this web page builder according to your by adding some custom commands and you can manipulate the DOM of that web page builder according to yourself so there's a very important topic like a commands part into the web page builder like we pass the event listener into the javascript like on click on and something so we create some custom events as well so that's kind of thing we do in grape builder by using commands okay so now next thing we're gonna add the trade container into our style so let's add this trade container control c so that trade manager gonna be every time at the top of that element so we're gonna add it into the style manager at the top so let's go and over here a trade container and after that you need to initialize into the config so like this so you can see it's a show trade so trade manager so you have to copy it control c and just paste it over here. anywhere into the like wherever you feel good so i'm just adding it over here to the dot trade container and that is coming or not so if, if i reload the page so uh, currently i need to set it up because uh, so obviously let's find the command for css class for the flex direction into the tailwind first so flex row flex row reverse flex call okay so i need to use this command this class for make it flex column so i'm just going to use it over here flex call. okay let's see it's working or not Yeah, so it's working fine and if I click on this element, let's see it's working or what is having If I click on it, so you can see the trades are loading over here whenever you click on it So it's, it's gonna show you some trades over there So trades is nothing but the uh, HTML attribute 
लाइक ऑन ईच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट हैव सम क्लासेज सम आई डी सम टाइटल सो दैट द थिंग दैट यू कैन एडिट ओवर यान वेर एवर यू विल एक्सपोज दैट एस टी एम एल विल ऑटोमेटिकली इंक्लूड दीज थिंग्स इन टू दैट एस टी एम एल एलिमेंट सो यू कैन चेज द आई डी ऑफ दैट एलिमेंट सो इफ आई विल प्रोवाइड सम आई डी सो एंड क्लिक ऑन इट सो इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली एड दैट आई डी एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन एड द क्लास फ्रॉम यार एंड दिस आर द सूडो सेलेक्टर्स लाइक यू कैन चेंज द सूडो क्लासेस फ्राम यार लाइक हावर क्लिक ऑन यू सो वैन यू चेंज द स्टेट टू हावर एंड यू कैन एड द क्लास फॉर दैट सो इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली एग्जीक्यूट दैट क्लास ऑन हावर लाइक वट एवर यू विल डू ऑन हावर सो इट विल execute that css over there so that's how it works as so i'll show you everything but currently let's uh, improvise this so we have added our things and let's uh, click on this one as well copy this command for same thing like whenever your uh, uh, command will get fired for trades and it gonna be showing you the trade show trades so you can run this command and you can implement all right guys so next thing we gonna be adding the devices into our web page builder like this one for medium and for desktop so that's we are going to use so just just copy this thing from here let's copy this device ma device manager code okay and also this panel devices as well like after that rest of the code and let's add this command as well because we have to set the devices like on which is on click of any kind of thing so we have to change the screen size so this command going to work on that and this command getting fired from from here if you see into this panel devices over here so i hard reload this page and you can see that the desktop and this mobile is coming over here so you can also see that the time clicking on the this screen is getting changed normal whatever we need to initialize so it has been already done so we want to add some images over here so we can add it like by using this so we can also add it from here normally what whatever we have to require into our builder so it's already done i think uh, that is from this video and in the next video what we going to do we will change the styling and css of this builder and also i am just going to save the whatever the content we will add it inside this so we going to save that content into our database of that django uh, sqlite database so that is uh, if you see in settings.py so by default it's added over here sqlite tree so this gonna be added inside this and i'll fetch it again from that database and i'll render it inside like whenever we will reload the page so it will by default it will come on our screen it won't be removed whatever we will edit so we will save it and we will get it that is a local database is running so later we will add after that we can add mysql or postgres sql so that we can also integrate so if you want to prefer more things into the django so you can prefer django documentation as well so thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'll meet you in the next video